Hello, everybody. What do? Bring you guys part two of this Yoshi versus Peach Daisy analysis. Because I've been told that the Yoshi named Miles, he's been blowing up Peach and Daisy players. So I'm trying to see what's going on. And so far, he beat Ling Ling. Uh, you guys already saw the video that I dropped yesterday. If you haven't, um, check that out if you want. But this is part two, where now Miles is fighting a Daisy player by the name of Nugget. This is a tournament that happened in Boston, Massachusetts. So we're going to see what happened up in here. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know real quick that I do give out lessons. So if you guys are interested, you can message me on Twitter or you can join my Discord and sign up for lessons there. Links to all those will be in the description below. Now that that's out the way, let's get into this match here of Nuggets Daisy versus Miles Yoshi. Never seen this guy before. I find it funny how their tags is NY sucks and NE sucks. <laughs> I think they just mean him having a good time. Okay, that was nice. Look like his movement though. Okay. He hasn't gotten touched yet. Like his movement's pretty good. Like he he had the ground game and I like what he did here. Like with the turn up, he just you know what, you're in the air. So, there's no need for me to jump. I gotta turn up. I'm gonna just go under you. If you try anything, get hit. Which looks like Yoshi was doing a dare in this situation. Which is pretty common. But yeah, look, already he, he got Yoshi at 104. It looked like he had the ground game. He's not really in the air a lot. He'll fake his air pulse with like sh um, jump castle fast falls and, and all that. So I've never heard of seeing this guy before, but I, I like, I like his play. Hmm. Okay. His movement, his movement is there. Just his micro spacing. That's kind of leaving him open when he's moving around, but it is there. And I actually like this. I like what he did here. Okay. He blocks this. He goes in the air and then he goes back down to see what the Yoshi would do. Like he's trying to bait something. But then he does a floating there. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was a mistake because doing a floating there like that, you're not gonna get anything out of that. He probably meant to ground floating there or something. So I, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he might, um, he might have wanted to there. But if he was going for a dare, don't know why. And well, hold on, did he just avoid that command grab? Are you serious? I get the hitbox is now just, is not out as long. Interesting. Cause look, the tongue is right through Daisy. Mm, I need to do some research. I gotta go to the frame data website and see how long that command grab is out. Because the way he avoided this, like, look, it's right there. It's going through Daisy, and he didn't get grabbed. He's able to run away. Look, he gone. Interesting. Damn, the parry. That's the second time he parries. Okay. Mmm. I like this. I like this right here. So, he runs towards the ledge, and then he pulls back to see if the Yoshi would do something. And he jumps off the ledge. This is what I was talking about before when uh, I was looking at the matchup with Ling Ling. How you go near the ledge, and then you act like you're going to do something, or you just wait. Don't commit too hard. So yeah, even though he guessed wrong, he was still safe. He he was able to get away. So I do like that. He he's patient when when less trapping. Okay. Yes, recover low. Oof! He could have got punished for that. Why did he die here? What happened? Okay, he did a bear. He runs back. And he decides to go for this, and he spaces. Okay. Oh, excuse me guys. I do apologize for that. Uh oh Wow, that was risky It worked out for okay, he did a dare here and it, we, we already talked about this situation here But he 
man is to bear trade like that Pfft, okay that was jesus christ that that's kind of hard to do okay you really got to be inside the, the character in a certain way I like how safe he is on shield. Like he'll touch Yoshi's shield like this, and then chill out. Because when you touch somebody's shield, they usually want to do something aggressive. Like eight out of ten times, people are gonna jump out of shield and do something. So him realizing this, he um he blocks because they're safe on shield. He did an attack though. But he's like, you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna chill out. See what you do. Oh, came okay, down with the bear. Oh, yeah, those dare landings. He needs to be really careful. I think he only got punished once, but still. And yeah, that you can't do that on Yoshi. Well, actually, wait, hold on. Did he? Wait, go back. I, I'm sorry. I think he dared his shield, and did he up tilt it? He jumped out of shield to an up air. That's that that's not true. I think he could have nailed. Yeah, that's too slow. Frame three. Now I'm not sure how fast Yoshi's up air is. Maybe it's true. I don't know. I gotta look at his frame data for the up air, but I I don't think as of right now. I think if he would have nailed, he would have snuck him out of it. Yeah, he he knows how to fight on the ground. He's like the first day the I, I've seen in a while that actually knows how to fight on the ground. Oh, messed up that fair. That's why he got hit. Good. Good weight. Good evasion. Mmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Overthrow. Nice. Yeah, it, the, I, I like this guy. His movement is... Oh, what happened here? Let me see. Right idea. He had the right idea, but he wasn't close enough. And then that happens. It, it, it's fine. He had the right idea, man. He got to be a bit closer. I like his decision making. Uh, obviously, a few mistakes here and there. You know, nobody's perfect. That you know, at the wrong time, he's he's dying for it. Like when he tried to toss the turnip. But outside of that. Yeah, th this guy, I definitely approve. I said it, it's been a while since I've seen Peach and Daisy play a guy has a ground game. And it's patient coming down. Cause majority of players, they always want to come down with like a dare or something. Like he's been doing that too at some point, but not too much. The majority of the time, he'll just pull away. Like he'll test the waters with dare, and then if it's not working, put himself in danger. Like, you know what? That's that. Oh, wow. Okay, good pressure by Yoshi. I'll give him that. Yeah, he... Yeah, that... Okay, he jumped where? Is that up tilt? What? Ah! Okay, I see what went wrong. That's a kill. Okay, okay. Few mistakes here and there, but I, I do like the way this guy is playing. I do like the way he's playing. Man. He has he has ground game. His oh my god ads. I do apologize for this. Give me a second. Uh, I thought we got rid of this. All right. Um, I do like the way this guy's playing though. Mm. not too aggressive either that's the thing he's like a mixture of both he'll act like he'll do something aggressive and then he utilizing his movement and he's been pretty safe on shield okay he needs to stop being the air so much mm! oh that that was clean that was clean okay so he does this jump towards him pulls back 
I guess, and then he does a falling upper, so in, in the case that Yoshi will jump, will jump at him, he can just do a falling upper, right? Then Yoshi jumps, he goes towards Yoshi, and then lands. An upper would have been better here. Okay, that wasn't gonna hit Yoshi. An upper would have been better. But after that, safe. We block. Okay, oh, alright. Okay, okay. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm impressed. I like this guy. I said, man, I'm impressed. I like. Him. I thought he's playing. Oh yeah, he did. He did one too many bears here. I what I tell people, like when I'm giving lessons, like if you're gonna go for pressure to see if somebody's gonna chase you. In this case, with Daisy, her bear. Do one bear and then chill out. If you're gonna go for more than one, two bears. After the second bear, just chill. Anything you do after that. In terms of something aggressive, that's a gamble. So he did one bear, two bear. After that, he should have chilled because Yoshi can move before him. And actually, he tried to run away, but did he toss out a bear? Yep, that's why he got clipped. He tossed his own his shirt box out when he was doing the bear. So yeah, he he should have chilled out. Two bears, and after that, he could have just pulled away. But other than that, okay. Mm, nice 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 I, I like this so he does this he goes towards him and he's doing exactly what I what I tell people like when you go near somebody and they come towards you they're most likely gonna react either they're gonna attack or they're gonna air dodge so him knowing that he went to Yoshi got closer ran towards him and then pulled away to see what he do what he would do Yoshi air dodged and okay okay I like this guy ah I think he meant a bear I don't think he meant to do that because I know that feel oh he needs to be careful man I mean I know he has a lead but Yoshi just needs one good hit and you can die just get your baby damage which he's being safe except when he's doing stuff like that yeah you can't land on Yoshi like that Okay, good, good recovery. I like how you recover Locust. Grab. Mm-hmm. Ah. He should have. Let me see. What happened here? Okay, he hits him with that. Armor. Right. Yeah, he should have not done that. He armored the turn up, and then, um, he got killed with the nair. He probably thought he can hit him before. Um, his attack come out, but he's doing a fair first 16 frames. Yoshi's Nair is in the single digits, and he armored the turn, so you're not gonna be a hit, so you can just do that right away. Yeah, you, you gotta pay attention to stuff like that, especially you if you hit with a projectile you want to approach out of Yoshi's second jump. You, you gotta you gotta keep in mind of that. Like even if the turn up hits his second jump, you know he's gonna armor it. So don't don't try to attack and follow with the turn up, because most likely this is what's gonna happen to you. Oh, you should have just went for the ledge, boy. There was no need for that. He does this. No. That's ass. You see, man? He does He does good. But then he makes mistakes like this. Like, he should have just went straight for the ledge. Look at that, man. Uh, all right. Okay. Oh. oh, he did a nair. That nair was going to reach. I think if he would have did a bear, would have been better. Which he might have been trying to do. Yes! Look, thank you! Look, I love this. The way he landed. Okay, so he gets hit, right? He jumps. And you're in this situation, the people, um, players, try to land on top of the opponent. But he does this for a bit. And then he just drops. And blocks, in case he senses something. And then Yoshi took, went up there, tried to hit him. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to land on top of you. I said, I, I, I like this. Mmm. He could have converted off of that, but I guess he was trying to get um both hits. Nice. Th th this was smart. So he Z drops a turn up, 
and then catches it with a fair so he can hit Yoshi. Mm. Ooh, I, I was about to say, yeah, I was like, yo, freaking, that's an arrow dodge, freaking near him or something. And the good, good reaction, okay. Mm, you got a bear out of that. He tried, I think, what, he tried to dare? He, no, I don't see it. He did something. A ground flow bear would have punished him for that. Oh, he needs to stop. Okay, one thing I'll give him, I like that he's pulling away. Like, see, he's drifting away. But this, he's still, like, doing there. Yoshi could have buried him for that. Because I'm surprised he did it. But I do like the concept that he's pulling away. But he should not be um, getting out of his stun with Nair. Especially at these percent. Can Yoshi can stay close to him as you obviously see here. So if Yoshi would have bared, he would have got hit. So, uh, yeah, he needs to, like, not do that. Luckily for him, Yoshi did Nair. Ugh. Oh, he's still alive. Wait, how did this happen? Okay, he does this. What did he do? Oh, he jumped towards Yoshi. Now, I, I would have kept drifting away. But I, I don't... Like, when I'm in this situation, I don't like trying to jump towards where the opponent is. I like stall or I just start drifting. But that led to this, which surprisingly didn't kill him. Okay, grab the ledge. Dang, you trying to land on Yoshi? You at 102? The ball's on this man. Okay, let's see how you land. Okay, flow. Nice. Good stuff. Grab the ledge. The armor. Let me see. He did fair here? I would have possibly done another Nair. That's too slow. He could have did another Nair. Um, a raw bear. It's a bit technical, but a turn, a quick turnaround bear. Like you run towards the opponent and then do a raw bear. Could have done that if he has those. Or a force smash probably would have done it. Maybe dash attack. But in this case, at this percent, I think Nair would have been better. Nair is faster than, than this. Because he just arms it and then he gets back on the stage for free. Okay. Gets the turn up. Oh, now there's no need for him to jump at Yoshi. Right here, he could have jumped. Jump cancel fast forward. But they trade it. And he has a lead, you know, it's not too bad, but you know, you don't want to be giving your opponent free damage Even if you could afford the trade because it, it adds up later But yeah, in that situation that was a good time to uh, jump catch a fast forward to avoid stuff like that. See what the opponent does. Oh My god, you could have died for that Okay, he's doing a lot of risky stuff in terms of um, Recovering I'm assuming he's doing that because Yoshi hasn't been punishing him that hard for it. Which is understandable, but still, man. Yet, even then, I, I'm not putting myself at risk. Because I had a nice lead. I'm not going to give my opponent an opportunity to bring it back. Okay, yeah. Okay. Nice! Nice! I, I like this. I like this. Okay, so this sequence right here. So he jumps. He goes to Yoshi. I like he's going to do something. Wait, it looked like he was trying to bear, but the hitbox didn't come out. He landed, he did it too close to the ground. So he does that. And he tries to do this. So then he goes into Yoshi, and then, you know, he pulls away and does that. Ah, he should have chased him. I guess he thought he was going the other way. Yeah, he, yeah, these dares. Okay, now he needs to chill out with the dares now. He needs to be grounded. He knows how to fight on the ground. Yeah, see, he, he's doing a bit too much now. You gotta remember, that move is slow. But he has to be careful when tossing that out. So he does this. Okay, now Yoshi's coming towards him. Oh, he tried to ground flow up there. That's what it was. Hmm. I mean, okay. But, uh, 
I guess he went for a guess. And he happened to get hit. Yes, go for the ledge. Nice. Okay, he can he can close this out if he in the corner oh he was too close he had the right idea because does this go towards him and then he tries to pull away so yeah, he's trying to microspace which you know i respect it he's just a bit too close and that's why he got clipped it's fine it happens oh why does it keep doing that that's the second time i've seen him die for that Second time I've seen him die for that. Ugh, okay. Anyway, next game. Another ad. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm watching this shit on the YouTube. But, um. Yeah. This guy. I said, so I, I like him, man. I have a few nitpicks of what he does at times that it's like giving his opponent an opportunity to get punishes. But other than that, he has a ground game. His movement is is good. He has good pressure. Oof. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He he's taking too much damage. What the hell's going on here? Okay, let me see. The first time he got hit, okay, he nared him. So this situation here, Yoshi's at thirty-two percent. So at this. In this situation, I wouldn't even try to attack Yoshi because he's close. So here, the opponent's usually going to think you're going to try to do something aggressive since they're in hit stun. So me knowing this, this mentality of players, I take advantage of it. And here, I would have just waited. But he decides to go for a dash attack, which was an instant dash attack. I can tell from here. And he gets hit out of it. The, the startup of dash attack ain't come out. And Yoshi's there. Uh, I, f I don't know what frame it is. I, I just know it's fast. So in that situation, I would have just stood there, wait for Yoshi to push a button, and either forward smash or side B. But yeah, that's the situation where, you know, low percent, the opponent's usually going to mash out. So you would just wait. It would have been all right if you would have waited. Mm, see, this is why... You don't match out of his stun. This is exactly why. This is another thing that um I tell people when I give them lessons. In this situation here, he gets hit. You see, Yoshi can stay close to him. So if you try to match out a hit stun when the opponent can stay close to you, he does an up air to get out of his stun. And Yoshi got that fair ready. Punch him out of recovery. He couldn't even block. So this is why you don't mash out of his on just stay in tumble or jump away. But usually I don't even jump away like that because I just want to touch the ground as soon as possible or go for the ledge. If I can't get on the ground, depending on where I'm at, but I stay in tumble. A lot of you guys, when y'all see me play or if y'all played me or whatever, you watch my streams, you know that when I get hit, I just stay in tumble. I don't mash out anything. And the reason for that is because of situations like this. So even if I could mash out and the opponent is not able to hit me, I, um, I mentally train myself not to mash out, you know, mental discipline. So that way I don't have the habit of mashing out or random times I just go autopilot and mash out and then stuff like this happens. But yeah, in this situation, just pull away. Stay in tumble. Like, when you're in hit stun and you're in tumble, it doesn't... You can jump out of it. You can attack out of it. You can air dodge out of it. Whatever. So you being in tumble, like, it, it's not a... It's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, when a situation like that, when you think the opponent's gonna attack, you can air dodge, jump away, toss out a quick attack depending on the character. Okay. Mm, I would have waited. But he was going for a tech chase, so he kind of had the right idea. He should have overshot a bit more. Okay. Let's see how he lands. Nice. Good patience. Come on. There you go. Now we're back on stage. Oh, he needs to be careful with these fairs. Oh, he caught him picking a turn up. Yep, he was ready for that. Oh, more like he reacted. The moment we saw that turn up, we were on. This chick is mine. Good catch. That was nice. Though he could have, he could have jumped and buffered a float, a float Z grab. 
and then just land it. I believe you have like less landing lag. Like, when you just land regularly, I think there's like four, four frames, something like that. But landing lag from there is frame seven. So you just do a regular, uh, you float, Z grab, and then, you know, you buffer Z grab out of float and then land. You can move a bit sooner. That was good. And a few times I've seen him, like, he fights with a turnip in hand. Like, he will Z drop and then catch it with an aerial or something to get that, that one hit he did in the previous match. So, um, yeah, I haven't seen him doing it too much, but there's times where he'll, he'll fight with the thing. I think the second time I've seen him do something with a turnip in his hand in terms of fighting with it. Mm. Oh, he is trying to juke. Oh, he should have still blocked it. Oh my god, he could have got hit for that. He up airs here? I mean, in that case, he whiffed. I would have just nared. But see, situations like this, this is why I don't match. I just... I just pull back and see what the opponent does. If he would have just waited and drifted, he could have punished Yoshi for this. They were trying to get out of, you know, his stun or whatever. Wait, actually, did he try to get out of his stun? Uh, let's, no, wait. No, he wasn't even in his stun already. But yeah, this could have been bad. Lucky for him, this whiffed. But, no, but then also, lucky for Yoshi, <laughs> that upper didn't hit him. Mm. Okay. Uh, pull away. There you go. Get the turn up. Mm. This could have been avoided, I think. Let me see. Yeah, he could have jumped out the way or pulled away. He just stood there falling. He could have drifted. Oh, that dare. Oh, man. The, the dare habit. He hasn't been getting punished too much for it, so that's probably why he's going for it. But still, he put himself at risk. I, I still wouldn't even do that. This is Yoshi we're talking about here. I'm not trying to land on top of him, especially at these numbers. He can kill you. Oh, he got a stitch. Oh, it's time. Let's see if he knows how to fight with a turn up. This is the test. Ah! Why did he toss it? Oh, I guess he thought he was going to drift back or something. I would have waited for him to land because he's in the air and he burned his double jump. I would have waited for him to land. He's either going to land with, see, he drifted forward, right? I would have just waited. He's either going to air dodge or touch my shield with an aerial. He does any of those things. He going to get blown. I would have just waited for him to land. That second jump is gone. People need to pay attention to stuff like that. Once the second jump is gone and people are landing near you, you either have the option to evade or do an aggress do something aggressive like an air attack. If he would have just waited, he would have got the free punish. Man, people, you people gotta keep this type of stuff in mind, man. He was already in the crass spot. He burned his air dodge. I mean his double jump. And he's landing. He's in a crap spot. This should have been a free punish. But he decides to do this. Yep, there it go. Good parry. Seems to be good at parrying, okay. Yeah, he he has a bit rage. That's not gonna work like that. Well, he should have just kept it simple. Mm, yeah, don't jump in that situation. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I like this. He goes. He needs to be careful with those dares though. That's how Ling Ling died one of the matches that I analyzed yesterday. He like he dared and Yoshi threw an egg and hit him out the, the recovery. So, I, I don't, even though he hasn't been getting punished too much, I still don't approve of what he's doing with these dare landings at times. Because you're giving your opponent a free shot to hit you, get damaged, or even kill you. Which he could have died at this percent. But here's what I like. Like, he goes near Yoshi. And he drifts away. And then goes for the ledge. This is what people need to do more. Like, especially Peach and Daisy Swift. This... This is what people need to be doing. I, I love seeing shit like this. It makes me feel all warm, warm and fuzzy inside. I, I love it. Oh, yeah, that's punished. Okay. 
Okay, he Z he Z dropped and then Nared, right? Yeah, he had turn finish and finish. He does this. Nice. Even though he armored it, but still that that was that was good. That was, get free damage and then you get turn back. So yeah, every now and then he fights with a turn up in his hand. Surgeon wouldn't have had this, this face, he was just waiting. Nice, safe pressure. Oh, he let go of shield too early. Oh, be careful. Nice. Mmm. Oh, okay. He he had the right idea. He had the right idea because he was like, okay, he jumped toward him and then he pulls back. And he tries to go for a bear. But again, people like to jump out of shield. It goes over him and then he gets snared. Mmm. Okay. Okay. He had the right idea to stall. Go for the ledge. There you go. Easy. Don't roll. Oh my god, he could have died to that. Lucky that Yoshi wasn't ready for that roll. That was a scary roll. I was scared for him. Oh. Mmm. Okay, I would be going for the ledge now. Good. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. We go. Yeah, he's okay, this guy. Nice! Nice, good shit. Okay. Easy. That, that was a down tilt. Okay, he needs to be careful. He's at 66. 166 and he's dead. That's what I was saying. He can't do stuff like that. Why did he dash attack? I don't know why. That wasn't even worth. I mean, if he hits Yoshi, okay. But if you fail and he hits you, you're dead. So I see numbers like this. When you're at these type of numbers, you got to keep in mind like whatever you're trying to do, if it's worth it. At these numbers, I wouldn't do anything risky committal. Okay, he has a lead. He wants to keep this, obviously. And he got some catching up to do. Like, he's uh, he's down two games. So yeah, you don't don't do stuff like that. When you're higher percent, just play it safe, man. Get your baby damage. If you see something that's guaranteed when you can go for a hard punish, then yes, punish them hard. But if it's not granted to you, don't do stuff like that, especially at those percents. Okay. He, he got to pay attention to Yoshi had an armor. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good. Bear and then block. Because you know he can move before you. With the shield pressure, has been pretty good. He's been safe on shields a lot. Okay, good. I, li I, I like what he did here. So... He gets hit. He floats. Uh, he jumps. He did a double jump. He floated for a bit to stop his momentum. And then he lands onto the stage. That's something that I do. I don't see many people doing that. So, yeah, like, if you got to float, like, what you can do is you can just jump the way he did. To um, jump in a certain direction. And then quickly float cancel and then just drop. So you can start your momentum then quick touch the floor. That's a way to confuse your opponent. So, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he, oh my god, he could have got buried. He needs to be careful doing stuff like that. Yeah, that's too slow, my boy. Ah. Drop this shield. Alright, well that's it. I, I will say, I, I am impressed. I I did like the way he was playing. The the thing I, I would say that he needs to like not do is at times like he was mashing out a hit stun with Dare. Where Yoshi he has an A, he could have just got free damage. Or the time that he did do it, he was close enough to Yoshi where Yoshi could use his normals and then hit him. But luckily for him, um Miles wasn't punishing him that hard for it. Like, I can't remember a lot of instances where uh, he got punished for it. There's a few times where he did, but it, it wasn't that many. So he's like, well, okay, I can just do this. Even though, still, I, I still wouldn't do that. Because what if the opponent catches on, right? And then you just start getting blown up for it. You don't you don't want that what if. You know what I mean? You, you want to negate the what if. It's just no, straight no. I'm not going to give you free damage. I'm not going to give you an opportunity to to hit me. I, I No. You know what I mean? You got to think about it like that. But yeah, outside of that, I like his movement. His pressure was good. He wasn't in the air too much. So that's a good thing. 
he wasn't really trying to approach in the air. He will act like he's gonna approach in the air, and then he'll do you know jump cancel fast falls. Their movement is good. He has a good ground game. His pressure is good. A lot of times he was safe on shield, and when he touched the opponent's shield, he didn't try to do too much. He wasn't too committable. Like he would touch the shield and then try to go for more attacks. No, he would like chill. He was safe. Um. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, it was just a few, a, a few mistakes here and there that that kind of got him blown up. Like the way I saw him die, it was either you know cases like this last stock he let go shield too early and then he gets clipped, or he messes up something like one point Yoshi was landing and he tried to toss a turn up, but he was a bit too far away with the turn up miss and then he got fair to up air I think something like that. Um. Yeah, which is again, it's just uh, mistakes, but you know, could e it could easily be fixed. So I'm not even gonna beat him, like get on him too hard for that. But like, uh, his, his play in general, like I said, I I did like it. I I was I'm not gonna lie, I was impressed. Never heard of this guy, never seen him, first time, and even though he lost, he get he gets a, a, a thumbs up from me. I I definitely approve of this this Daisy. I like it. Um, he he could have won. He could have won. He would have tweaked all the the mistakes a bit. But yeah, no no doubt in my mind, he he could have won this. Overall, few mistakes. I like the way this guy played, man. Um, he this kid's going places. I I like it. And he probably would have won if he didn't say NYC sucks, cause that Yoshi's from NYC, I believe. And yeah, he he beat uh dude from New England, so um. Yeah, maybe not wear a tag like that. <laughs> he ain't looking too good right now, boy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I like this guy. Um, and that's it. So I hope you guys learned something from here. Um, I was quite entertained watching this. There was some hype moments, stuff he was doing. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, boy, okay. A lot of stuff that I teach, he's doing. All right. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned some stuff for it. Now we're gonna watch one more of. Uh, Yoshi versus Peach and Daisy. I got one more person to look at. It's a different person. And this part three, the last saga of apparently Yoshi blowing up Peach and Daisy players, which is this guy right now. Um, but yeah, right now I think he, from what I've seen, Nugget played it the best. He he did better than Ling Ling. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for the final part of this Yoshi. Princess Saga. So, thank you all for the new subscribers that I got, as well as my veteran subscribers. All you guys are freaking savages. And as I mentioned earlier, I do gift lessons. So, if you want lessons from me, hit me up on Twitter or join my Discord. Links to that in the description below. So, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, my friends. Bye bye.